Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is spank that like button before watching this, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Stoic Indifference. Fausto de Campo is the author of this book that teaches you basic mental discipline. They say that a mime is a terrible thing to waste, and so is your mind, especially when you fall in love and put your mental well-being into the hands of a woman. Think for yourself, structure your thoughts, and improve your critical thinking skills. Pick up a copy on Kindle or paperback today. Sponsor link is down below. And now on with the memes. Number one, we have a woman that banged with over 300 guys in only one year. And she's going to share how many people she plans to be with in 2024. At least she's goal-oriented and trying to accomplish something. I'm also sure there's going to be some sort of simp there to marry her at the finish line. But those are rookie numbers. This one was with 900 in only one day, and got so bored from it that she decided to order McDonald's. A hundred plus years ago, they used to commit women if they behaved like this. Sorry, no chads in the sanatorium. Up next, there's a plan for a new dating app that requires users have a credit score of 675 or above. Does this mean there won't be many or any women on there at all? The app will probably just be Caucasian males talking to Asian males. This is probably just one more tool for gold diggers, and since the men outnumber the women on that platform, it's a sausage fest for Susie, the senior accountant from The Sizzler. But seriously, imagine giving a dating app your social security number. Number three, a woman is jailed over a false accusation. I'm hoping that this becomes more of a trend, and that the sentences get longer and longer. Hopefully they're given the same sense that a man would receive for the crime that she claims he committed. She received eight and a half years in this case. No more carousel riding for her, and with more stories like this, the world will become a better place. When she gets out of prison, she should also be forced to register as a sex offender. It's only fair. Moving on, I bet people are going to love these $10,000 a pair skin boots. I hear that they're imported from Haiti. I think I have a new goal in life. Make weird and ugly expensive clothing, sell it, and become a billionaire. The Canadian designer making these needs to be investigated as to where they're getting the materials from. Number five, the U.S. Army is cutting their forces by 24,000 because of recruiting shortfalls. This is what happens when men no longer want to fight for a country that hates them. This is what happens when you have a woke joke of a military. Here's one general that's wondering why everyone says the army is woke. And he's very, very offended by being asked that question. I say let the strong independent women stroll out onto the battlefield. More material for those skin boots, of course. Up next, in ancient Egypt, the pharaoh required slaves to pay him 20% of their revenue. Yet today's median taxpayer pays 24.8% income tax, plus sales tax, property tax, and the most important one of all, the inflation tax. The government can still magically print all the money that it wants, though. The only reason we still have to pay tax is to keep up the illusion that paying taxes actually matters. Plus, of course, to impoverish us. It's even worse in Canada, though. Number seven, this woman just donated her eggs for surrogacy and received $20,000. And yet anti-surrogacy advocates are claiming that she's a victim. What about all the sperm donors that get paid nothing or five cents a cup for their semen? Wouldn't they be victims too? You know that in eight years, this same woman is going to be crying that she's barren and can't have any more kids. And then she's going to sue the gynecologist that took her eggs and try and take the baby from the man that's been raising it, claiming it's really hers. Moving on, a Canadian woman that was wheelchaired after receiving a Jiffy Jaff for the Cocoa Puffs has been told that the government is willing to make it up to her by ending her. This is not really a reliable source, though. There is no proof that happened. But the more important thing to remember is that it's more important for Canadian healthcare systems to save money by ending you rather than treating you. Number nine, which do you prefer? Miss Germany or a random German girl? The picture of the random German girl is probably from the 90s, and not from the century. But look on the bright side. At least this year's Miss Germany is a 39-year-old single mother of two. Next year's probably going to be of 80-year-old grandmother. We're living in a clown world. How long until AI starts building female androids? I bet most of us can hardly wait to pop their Cherry 2000. Up next, we have the Kellogg CEO suggesting that people should start eating cereal for dinner to save money. The elites are so out of touch with reality that they're now having their Marie Antoinette moments. And they don't understand the struggle that people feel in being insulted by this and might actually cut back on consuming cereal entirely because of it. What is Kraft macaroni and cheese too expensive these days? I guess if I was their CEO, I'd also suggest people eat more of my product too. 
at least it's better than bugs. Number 11, speaking of eating, this New York Times reporter was cut out and presumably fired because he said his favorite sandwich was from Chick-fil-A. The HR rep told them, we don't do that here. They hate gay people. Telling a woman to make his sandwich has been political for quite some time now. So I guess this is the next step. Buddy here should have gone to McDonald's and gone a filet fish which supposedly Jesus helped invent. Then he could have sued for religious persecution. Now eating sandwiches can make you homophobic, don't you know? Moving on, we have the world's most jealous woman, making her husband take a lie detector test every time he comes home. This is, a co this is coercive control and domestic abuse. But of course, only if a man did this to his wife. The other way around, it's perfectly acceptable. This behavior is just normalizing women's insecurities. Look at the hostility in her face and the fear on his that he'll have insult dumb to look forward to instead of no longer worshipping her. Discount Kid Rock here needs to reevaluate his life choices. Number 13, maybe instead of taking a lie detector test every night, Discount Kid Rock could do what divorced men over 50 do. Passport bro their way to the Philippines or Thailand. He can find himself a hot Asian woman that suffers from island dwarfism. Then again, I'd stay away from both places. You never know when they secretly might have a twig and berries. Up next, what a time to be alive. When you have a pregnant single mother on a dating site with high expectations. Her kids come first and she's making demands, knowing exactly how many simps will come to the rescue. She has so much confidence that she's abusing and insulting men before she even meets them. She's a real keeper. She's probably just looking for someone to pay for her maternity stuff and early childcare costs until she's ready for the carousel again. Number 15, the percentage of college students over the last 50 years has gone from majority male to majority female. Printing diplomas and handing them off to women doesn't make them smart. Just like printing money and handing it off to everyone doesn't make people rich. Soy society is crumbling, and men withdrawing from education is only one symptom of it. Yet it's still called a bachelor's degree, even though more women than men are getting them these days. Moving on, I don't know if this is satire or female gamer propaganda. This one says that men should build houses and fight in wars. Looks like they're finally saying the quiet part out loud. But seriously, this is why I'm a feminist. Because I believe that men should sit around and play video games while empowered women go out and work. My favorite part is the coma cola. Because you have to be knocked unconscious to actually believe any of this. Number 17 is the difference between female characters written by men versus female characters written by women. Men write strong, independent women that are rational and intelligent. Women tend to write female characters that objectify themselves sexually and are two-dimensional. Kim is one of the greatest TV characters in TV in recent memory, male or female. She also looks sexy in her 40s. One of these shows won male fans over and the other did not. Up next, we have a guy that matched with his professor on a dating site. He tells her that he's in her Wednesday lecture hall and says he'll eggplant her for an A, if you know what I mean. She says she knows who he is, which begs the question, if she knew who he was all along, then why did she swipe right to match with him in the first place? Also, why was her filter set to the age range of her students? I think she'll eventually get together with him rather than risk him exposing her to the class and getting her fired for having an inappropriate teacher-student relationship. Number 19, this lonely fan star, Carla Ramirez, shamed her father for subscribing to a racy content. It was probably an easy thing to figure out because odds are he was her only subscriber. So by shaming him, no one would even know she was doing it. Also, why do they always call them stars? I know another four-letter word that starts with the letter S and ends with Lutz. Moving on, we have Liz Warren. She makes $400,000 a year teaching one class a year at Harvard. Yet she complains about the high cost of college and student debt. Maybe she shouldn't be taking her salary as she's already worth $12 million. I can't believe I fell for her BS 15 years ago. Someone in the comments section then says that that's the difference between a male and a female. Men will accept accountability for our stupidity. I was also dumb to vote for Trudeau back in 2016, before he pulled a bait and switch. I've smartened up since then. Number 21, in case you ever wondered what this smells like, we have a company named GameScent that creates the smell of a game. But I think we all know exactly what this smells like. Companies have tried making scent add-ons to video games for the last 20 years, and always failed. And it's never happened because nobody wants it. Up next is this what women want. A man that cooks, cleans, earns six figures, with a body count lower than two. So he can bond with her. Yes, of course, that's exactly what they want. Someone that views her as a queen, 
and she can easily control and takes on both male and female roles in the relationship so she's free to not have to take either of them on. Whoever made this, her previous guy didn't meet her expectations. This guy is a Chad, millionaire, simp, cock, and maid, as well as chef all rolled into one. Number 23, we have Miss Catherine, and she cheated on all seven of her long-term boyfriends. She's the type of woman that wants the guy from the last one. She says that if your boyfriend won't obey you mindlessly and accept that he's below you, cheat on him and make him cry until he gets the point. She's doing this now, but you know that the odds are pretty good that she's probably going to be crying home alone at 40. She gives off those future cat lady vibes. Moving on, we have two women trying to save the world by burning tons of carbon on a private jet. Also eating beef instead of bugs. How dare they? The only thing that's missing is a plastic straw in that beer glass. Poor Greta looks like she's already hit the wall in her early 20s. Why is that lettuce at the bottom of the burger? I guess that AI can't get everything right now, can it? Number 25 in the last one, this is what it looks like when she steals your heart, as well as your pain pills and catalytic converter, and all because you thought you could fix her. The one on the top right even looks like she might steal your soul as well. Which one of these is Billy Ellish in 10 years? You decide. And to think that once upon a time we used to be a proper civilization where the pitchers of beer and trays of pizza would flow at your local pizza hut. I miss the salad bar too. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Give this video a thumbs up to help it reach more viewers. If you want the memes I can't show you on YouTube, then subscribe over on my X account where I post them ahead of time. Link is below. Also remember that I make these for free, so donate what you can at the PayPal and Subscribestar links below for more content like this. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.